Hello everyone. Good afternoon. So in the previous lecture we have learned about the various IoT frameworks that can be used by any manufacturer to design a IoT device or IoT project. They are used to design the I, uh, they are used to design the I, IoT devices or projects. The various frameworks that we have to learn, learn are KAA framework, then Cisco. Cisco framework, Zeta framework, Salesforce, right? Then Device Hive, Oracle IoT, and many more. The last one that we have learned is AWS, Amazon Web Services, SAP, right? Google Cloud. Then IBM Watson okay. so these are the various frameworks that we have already learned in previous lecture which are used to device uh, that are used to the design any IT project right then the next topic is device integration the next topic is device integration now what is device integration as we know iot device iot device is nothing but it is the collection of various elements it is the collection of various elements on a single chip it is the collection of various elements on a single chip and provided with and provided with internet and provided with internet right so these devices are known as iot devices as there are many devices which are actually mounted on a single chip it is always required that all these devices must must communicate all these devices must communicate with each other right so to provide this communication between these various devices a process is formed there or uh, some programming is performed there and this particular thing is known as data integration right so to communicate these uh, to provide the communication between these devices some api are used there application program interface are used there the most famous api that is used the most famous api that is used is rest api that we have learned in unit number one rest is nothing but it is known as representational representational state transfer api right it is known as representational state transfer api which is actually used to provide the communication or to establish the communication between the various elements that are mounted on the single chip to form a iot device right so this particular this whole thing is known as device integration this whole thing is known as device integration now what we have to learn is data acquisition and data integration right our next topic is data acquisition and data integration now what is data acquisition acquisition data acquisition and data data acquisition and data integration now what is data acquisition that is nothing but data acquisition is collection collection of data in different form from various devices mounted on iot device it is the collection of data from the various devices that are mounted on a iot device right this particular thing is known as data acquisition right and now what is mean by data integration as we have learned device integration device integration is nothing but it is the to provide the communication between the various devices is known as device integration and data integration is data integration is nothing but right to prepare this collected data by data acquisition process right to prepare that data 
repair data collected in various form to be understand or to be understood to be understood by computer to prepare this data so that this collected data can be um, can be understood by this computer system or can be understood by this uh, can be understood by the digital system right so to form this it is uh, a combination of technical and business process is used the combination of technical and business combination of technical and business process is used to make that data to make that data a valuable information make that data a valuable information and this thing is known as data integration right so data integration data integration is nothing but right to prepare the collected data in from to, to prepare the collected data of various form to be understood by the computer or uh, or in the form of digital form right so for that purpose a combination of some technical and business process is used to make that particular data as a valuable information right so this whole thing is very much important in any it device right is uh, is very much important in any iot device right so what things are required or what particular elements are required uh, in this particular or in this whole process in this uh, data acquisition and data integration process so components DAQ data acquisition right so components of data acquisition and data integration process there are various components of data acquisition and data integration process the first element is transducers transducers now as we know transducers transducers are nothing but these are the smaller chips or these are the smaller elements that collect the data in the form of pressure collect the data in the form of pressure or temperature or even in the form of brightness light brightness collect the data in the form of pressure temperature or brightness and convert that data in the form of convert that data in the form of electrical voltage electrical voltage or current so the major tasks of transducer that is the first component of this system right transducer is the first component of this system right which will collect the data in the form of pressure temperature or in the form of uh, brightness and will convert that data in the form of electrical voltage or pulses or in the form of current right so second element of this system is sensors as we know everyone knows the sensor there are very various type of sensors like a temperature sensor humidity sensor temperature sensor humidity sensor motion sensor motion sensor or pressure etc right various type of uh, sensors are there right these sensors will collect data collect the data in analog form of, or will collect the data in these all the formats and again it will collect or it will convert that data in uh, voltage or voltage or current again it will convert that data in voltage or current right so second element of the system is sensor the third major element of this system is actuators we have learned about the actuators in unit number one what the actuators do so actuators are nothing but these are the output devices 
these are the output devices that were that are included in each and every iot system jo har ek iot system mein include kiye hue rehte these are output devices like leds like leds or some lamps or mat uh, motors lamp motors what actuators do actuators will collect the data from these two systems or from these two uh, indicators transducers and uh, sensors actuator will collect the data from transducer and center and will generate a appropriate output according to the input taken from these two systems right so it will generate some output for the system in the form of so that's why that's why these are known as output devices the output can be in the form of leds or lamp or motor right so there are various type of uh, or very they, there can be various type of output that can be generated by this actuators right so the fourth one or the major another element of this uh, architecture or the ma major element of this system is adcs analog to digital converters without adcs the system will never complete uh, the it system will never be set as a complete system so adcs are nothing but analog to digital converters these are nothing but these are analog to digital converter as the data is collected in the form of uh, or uh, as the data is collected in as a analog data it is always important to convert that data in digital format as we are operating on a digital uh, as we are operating on a computer system or as we are uh, working in a digital system so adcs are always important or uh, devices that are to be used in such type of uh in such type of devices right right so analog to digital devices are always important right now how this whole process will be uh, carried out 